33. 32, 33. It's hot. Oh. You up there. Calm down. Whew. Wow, you can just feel it. Just. I'm going to burn if I stay here too long. Woo wee. Yikes. Man. It's only been a minute and I'm already melting. Whew. But I like it. I'm not complaining. I'm just stating. I am melting. So everybody, welcome to Georgia. We are at the Flying J, pretty much right in the center between Augusta, Georgia and Atlanta, Georgia. I believe this is Interstate 85, if this is on. This was actually surprisingly empty. Last night I got here and half the parking lot was empty. I thought something was wrong. Why is it not full? Every other truck stop I've been to over the last week has been packed. So it's a hot one. And I'm trying to figure out how we're gonna get home. We're on our way home now. It's a three day drive, three full days. About, uh, oh, about 2,800 kilometers from here. So the only problem is 2,800 kilometers. I'm governed at about 100 kilometers an hour. That means that'll take me at least 28 hours of just highway driving. And then you gotta add traffic and stops and stuff, right? So it'll be a, over 30 hours. I only have 19 and three quarter hour left on my 70 hour clock for the week before I need a reset, unless if I start recapping hours. The problem is in the US, you can only drive 70 hours in eight days, which is dumb in my opinion, because in Canada you can do 70 hours in seven days and then you can start recapping. You can get further that way and make more money. But down here they got uh, more regulations. So I'm gonna have to do some fancy thinking here. Let's see. I'm, one, I'm on one, two, three, four, five. I'm on day six of eight and I have 19 hours left. On the first day I recap, I get six hours and 42 minutes back. What does that equal? 19, I need my calculator. Calculum, it's just 19 hours. What are you barking at? Is it that crazy that I'm doing math? 19 plus uh, six, so that's about 25. It's, I don't even know if that's gonna get me home. The next day I get 10 hours given to me. So you can only drive 70 hours in eight days in the United States, like I was telling you, that's the law. It's a little bit different in Canada. And then you can uh, take the, the amount of time, say I drove 10 hours on day one, and on day nine, that means in the last eight days, that first day of 10 hours, goes away and then you can add that 10 hours onto your 70 hours for these eight days. Am I making sense? It's, it's a little complicated, but uh, I might be able to make it up without stopping for a reset. I'll just have to recap hours and I can only drive about maybe six hours a day, but I'll be getting home at the exact same time anyway and I'm getting a reset once I get home. So I'd rather do that than sit and do nothing for a whole day and just be bored out of my mind for a whole day. At least this way I get a little bit of driving in every day and uh, I, don't, I don't get so bored, right? Just short days. We'll see what happens. We'll see how I gotta figure this out here. We've made our decision. We're gonna roll on. And see what happens. diesel during the day a little bit more there because here it's a little too hot I know it's, I, I can't find a perfect temperature it's either too hot or it's too cold but here it's a little too hot I can't take diesel out the, the, the pavement the asphalt here is very hot for his paws so can't really do anything but sit in the truck here anyway may as well move down the road make our decision a little later of, we can drive a full day today anyways we'll see where we're at at the end of today I know I said this was I-85 more than once before, I think when we were at the Flying J. Like I said, 
said it last night too. This is I-20. My bad. My bad. You guys are probably yelling at your screens and laughing already. So, Interstate 20 goes between Augusta, Georgia, and Atlanta. Very nice day out today. Like just wow. Just passed by a lake, and I saw tons of boats out on the lake. Oh man, that makes me want to get home and go camping. Start enjoying the summer. Finally getting some warmer weather back home from what I've heard. So by the time we get there, it should be similar weather to this. Not quite as hot, but almost. It'll get there. Can you guys see past all the bug guts? I need to stop and wipe them off yet, but I kind of like them, you know? Like I always say, that means that the weather is nice. If there's no bugs on your window, that means the weather's way too cold. We're getting near the uh, the northwest corner of Georgia. Where we're going to dip into Tennessee, and then we're going to dip back into Georgia, and then we're going to go back into Tennessee. The interstate here sort of straddles the line here for a little bit. And then we'll go up through Chattanooga. And I'll probably drive for another couple of hours today. I'm thinking of driving six hours today, six tomorrow, six the next day, and then I'll have six hours I can recap on the fourth day. That should get me home. Very close. It's going to be tight. It's going to be tight to within like 15 minutes tight. <laughs> so we might not make it, but if we don't make it, then we'll just recap more hours on Wednesday and we'll go home Wednesday instead of Tuesday night. This way, you know, it's a, we get four relaxing days of driving. I'm not just sitting around doing nothing. And who knows, maybe I'll change my mind again. I don't know. See how I feel. Just look at these trees, though. They're in full-on summer. Like, it's full summer out here. It just blows me away. It's not like we're that far down either. It's like a three-day drive back home. Like 3,000 kilometers or so, but... I mean, it's not like across the world and yet it's so different they're already in summer here back home we're just we're just kicking off summer we're just like sort of enjoying mid-spring right now they always have a saying down in the south here april showers bring may flowers i never understood that until i came to the south I'm like oh that's where that saying comes from because it makes no absolutely no sense in manitoba april showers do not bring may flowers there are no flowers in April or May, and in April it's still snowing. So in, in Manitoba, it's more like May showers bring June flowers. So, I mean, we still have flowers at home. Britt just uh, went to the greenhouse and uh, picked up a whole bunch of flowers for our yard. Make the yard look all nice. She's really good at that. So I guess we get some flowers in May, but they won't really grow on their own in Manitoba until the end of May, beginning of June much shorter growing season, which is probably why the trees down here are so much bigger and taller. A lot more time to grow. I'd love to live down here. I'd love to just have a, like I said yesterday, you know, I just want a winter home down here one day. When I retire, we've got to have some kind of winter home. I'm going to be a snowbird. We're going to make it happen. I have, what, 30, oh, 33 years to make it happen. Then I'll be 65, 33 years. Should be enough time to prepare, do you think? I don't know, with the cost of living going up all the time, it's like you gotta be like a multi-millionaire just to retire, it seems. Oh, the Tennessee Hills. Look at them. They missed me. I can see it. I can tell. Just look at them. Oh, wait, sorry. Mountains. I'm doing air quotes. Mountains. We're going to be going through Nashville in two hours. I want to get north of Nashville tonight. Uh, we might even get into Kentucky. I believe that's a state right above there, yeah. All depending on uh, how late it gets. I don't want to park so late and then have to worry about finding parking. I mean, we're taking her easy on the way up, so we don't gotta, we don't gotta push it very hard. I can't, the law won't let me. I'll have to stop so we can get these bug guts off the window for you, though. It's like they all aim for the camera, you know? The rest of the windshield, practically clean. Practically right empty. Right in front of the camera. All these bug guts. They fly right for you guys. They're all, they're, they're trying to get you. Watch out. 
okay? Make sure you wear your goggles. You don't want to get one of those bugs in the eye. How far have we gone today? We've only driven like three hours. It feels like we've been driving all day. Yeah, I guess because it's already afternoon. I left pretty late and I stopped for a long break at a rest area, walked diesel, went in there, bought some Cheetos from the vending machine, enjoyed them thoroughly, bought myself a Coca-Cola, enjoyed it thoroughly. So I've been taking my time. I guess it makes sense. Usually I'm a more go, 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 but we got some time now. Look, it feels like we're driving through like a, a jungle or a, a forest and they just sliced open a pathway for us again. What's this over here? Is this the Tennessee River? No, that's, that's something. That looks like a lake. What is this? It makes me want to go fishing. In Georgia, every lake that I pass on the side of the freeway, everyone's fishing. I wish I could be out there fishing. One of these years, you know, once we get caught up with things and everything, if that ever happens, you know, it will. We'll get there. One of these years we get caught up. I want to do a lot more boating. A lot more fishing. All I need is for, well, to catch up with things since that truck set me back a little bit, the Volvo being its Volvo self, but uh, also the house. We have an older house, which keeps falling apart and needs to be fixed all the time. So there's that. We need our house to stop falling apart. But that's an investment I'm not gonna give up on. Or I'm not gonna hand back, or I'm not gonna sell it. I wanna pay it off. How, a house is a good investment. A, a truck, it only depreciates. We're just over here into Kentucky. You have arrived at your destination on the left side. Pilot Travel Center number 049. Pembroke or Oak Grove, Kentucky. Let's see if we can find us a parking spot in here. According to Trucker Path, it's full. But we're going to go and check anyways because according to Trucker Path, everything around here is full. So, uh, I don't doubt it. It probably is, but we're going to give it a shot anyway. start. I'm gonna thread the needle here through the pumps. What do you guys think? You guys think I'm gonna find any parking here? There's apparently like 130 parking spots here. We shall see. I got my doubts. parking lot go to? Oh, there's a spot right here. Right here. Oh my, we're gonna be right in the front. Okay. I was so suspicious of this parking spot being open. We're right by the building. Look at that, the building's right there. We're right in front. I usually like to park closer to the back, but usually all of these spots are full unless if they're reserved parking, right? So I was suspicious. I had to go ask one of the employees out here collecting the garbages. I'm like, is that spot reserved where I'm parked? Can I park there without paying? <laughs> and he said, yeah, I guess you got lucky. I said, yeah, well, the, the guy must have just pulled out because there's never spots. There's like never spots at all open. Never mind one right by the building. Guess I got lucky. That's that's pretty much what parking is. Like, look at all these guys, just like. Is this guy, there's another guy behind him. They're all just, you know, trolling the lot. That's what I call it. Trolling the lot, just looking for a parking spot. Just... All this. Because no one wants to pay to park. And I refuse to pay. So we got lucky. We're uh, gonna stay right here in Oak Grove, Kentucky. And continue on tomorrow. We went, what, maybe 700 kilometers today? So what's seven hours of driving? And I have... 12 hours and 46 minutes available to me to drive yet on my 70. So we'll split that up over the next two days. So about six hours tomorrow, six hours the next day. We have, let's see here, 
proceed to the highlighted route. 1,959 kilometers to go to the Canadian border. Once I get into Canada, the hours of service are different and I'll have lots of hours there. But, uh, so, we'll probably get 1,200 kilometers, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18